Why are some individuals in public offices trying to, at the end of the day, suppress the constitution, the holy book of the land? Now, you know, we, we, we rally around, you know, to build this nation. You know? Why is this man at stride suppressing the constitution, knowing that he needs to release that report? Why is he not releasing it? Why is he trying to make sure, say, why is the TV off? <laughs> they, they, they turn the TV off. <laughs> the TV is off. Mudi, I can't say I'm going to do TV, no. The multi TV. Yeah, I can't say I'm going to be able to TV, no. By Rebecca. So, why is this Mr. Whittle of a year, Shraj, the boss of Shraj, why, why is he suppressing the truth? Because he could for a man as I what is legal prime place. He knows I know where it is. Oh, the same paperwork and he knows. Now, their findings, you know, they 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 their findings <laughs> it's in bits, it's in pieces. They know the lady is guilty. Oh mean say about we know a crobia swank also could jail cry. Yeah, she needs to be prosecuted. For paying herself. As soon as I make a show, we are see that government official is going to jail. Now, today we're talking about um, the veteran of Francisca. Or Taint Mensa, the daughter of Kwekutin or Adonko Betes. You can also say Angel Group of Companies. Today, she met Parliament face to face. Um, she had to go through par um, vetting, as we all know. She had to prove herself that she is capable of being a Deputy Minister uh, in the Ekufuado government. But before she was appointed, somebody petitioned Shraj uh, of her conduct in 2019. Um, 2020 when um, COVID-19 um, broke out. In fact, she was the board chair of the National Youth Authority and um, she did some very conflicting things um, which the petitioner uh, basically um, called conflicts of interest. She sat on a board meeting, made sure a contract was awarded to her father's company, um, Adunko Betes, and also she knowing uh, that that was against um, the rule uh, of her uh, of her job. Uh, it was, was basically against the constitution, and I'm going to uh, state the constitution that part of the constitution that says that public officials are not supposed to uh, be involved in the awarding of contracts when they have affiliations to that particular contract um, company. They are the government is awarding contracts to, or they are basically shareholders in that company. Now, what we're looking at today is. Um, why Shraj, all these years from 2019 when they were they were petitioned to look into this matter, um, have decided to hide the fact. In fact, my source, I've been following this story since 2019. My platform or this platform was the first platform that uh, broke the story. We did our investigations. We made Ghanaians know that Francisca Otin Mensa, the daughter of Kweku Teng, uh, actually uh, awarded a $3 million um, three million city contract to her dad's company, which she is a shareholder. Today, after 2019, 20, 20, 20, 20, after three, four years, um, we've gotten to that point where we have to vet this lady. Shraj, as I speak to you, they have been able to investigate this matter. Um, I think... It's been over six months now they concluded this um, investigation. The boss of Shraj and um, whoever is in charge of that investigation, they have, at the end of, they have actually hidden or decided to keep the, the findings to themselves because for, of reasons we have no idea. But today, we are going to take our time and look at the vetting things that she said, questions that were posed to her. After that, we will take our time and break the issues down for you to have a clear idea. Um, people should understand I hate nobody when I do these kind of things. Dr. Kwekute is a nice gentleman. I respect him. And um, I want people like him in Ghana to understand that the law shouldn't be selective. 
it does not matter who you are, um, the law should apply. I might know you, it might be my uncle, it might be my dad, it might be a friend's dad, it might be people I know, but when we have to deal with the issues and the facts, we have to do that. That is why I'm saying this. Um, sometimes it's tough, but we, we still have to speak the truth, bring the documents out, and let the law apply. Because if we start to be selective about what we have to talk about because we respect an individual, we know an individual, then we are not doing anybody good here. And this platform is a platform uh, built to, at the end of the day, check the, 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 the government. It's an anti-corruption platform. Uh, we started the story and we have to try and conclude the story. Um, Shraj, today as we speak, they have the findings. They have kept it for some reasons nobody knows. Let's listen to Francis Otting, uh, Francisca Otting in front of um, the parliamentary committee um, that vetted her today and hear uh, her own words when it came to the issue of conflict of interest or the COVID-19 related um, expenditure. This is the vetting and this is Francisca Mensa. And to vet the nominee, I want to take it from the hills of Honorable Sohene. Are you suggesting to this committee that you are before Shraj on a matter which has been investigated on conflict of interest bordering on you? Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, um, Shraj wrote to me and I have responded accordingly. They wrote to you on what? You want to share the content of the letter? If um, you have it. Yes, I can, I can share a copy of the letter that Shraj um, wrote to me. But at least you read the letter. What did the letter allege or purport on the matter they are investigating? Is this just Adongo, Adonko and what Honorable Sohine have said? Um, Mr. Ch Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, um, the, um, what the letter entails, it's hard to do with um, conflict of interest issue where um, a citizen wrote to charge with regards to um, National Youth Authority, Authority purchasing some number of um, hand sanitizers from um, Adunko Company Limited. And the other um, allegation had to do with the fact that um, they purchased sanitizers with 3 million Ghana cities, and which is not so. So I've, I've responded accordingly to charge on that. I will be happy to see the official correspondent from Shraj on this matter to guide our decision on the nominee. Now you are reminded that Article 284 of the 1992 Constitution provides a public officer shall not put himself in a position where his personal interest conflicts or is likely to conflict with the performance of the functions of his office. What portfolio were you occupying? I know the Honorable Suhini race, but I want to hear from you. What were you at National Youth Authority? Um, as a board chairperson. Chair of the board, responsible for policy. Is that right? Yes, please, Mr. Chairman. Did the board approve that sanitizers will be bought? No. No, Mr. Chairman. All it, right. The board, the board approved an amount of 3 million Ghana cities for COVID-19 campaign and related activities. And Which so, included procurement of sanitizers, is that right? Well, that was- Were you in that board meeting? Um, come again, Chair. Mr. Chairman. Were you in the board meeting? Yes, please. You chaired the board meeting? Yes, please. Which approved the three million? Yes, please. For the purchases of those items? For the um, COVID-19 campaign and related activities. Okay, so what are they? What have you got to do with? I don't go uh, to any pronounce it well for me. The I don't go group. What's your relationship with them? Um, I think um, it has to do with the fact that um, my father owns I don't go company limited, and I'm also a shareholder of the company. Ah, okay, for the record. Okay. So that's that's her own words, you know. Um, in some of the you know, said na a year, um. Minority leader Haruna Idrisu Ebusa Aya Francesca say, Um, Oba Vetin, Ewaha. Um, before that, there is an issue on the table. I was shrugged, CCH, I say, Time and now we had the board chair of NY, you know, na Ona would chair meetings. Na meetings, no, Ona would deen in your name, and I say, Yes, Mena me deen in your name. Now the meetings, no, um, Moma contracts to Aya Adunko Betesa, Aya Papadia. And I'll say yes, not on any meeting. I say 
and a hard nabusa and a meeting or come home. And also on a board chair. And obusa and say, na relationship to a year, I don't could be And as an angel group of companies, no, a day. And also, oh, yeah, approve it 3 million Ghana cities for COVID 19 related their expenditure. Now, she didn't want to stick to say, board now approve this kama a year adonko. So she was being technical. Say, so, yes, on an air board chair, I'm going to approve Sika 3 million IF for hand sanitizers and PPEs for COVID 19 related activities. But you need to understand, Sasi can did go to a company. That money went to a company. And what com- which company is that? It is Adonko Bitters. Adonko Bitters, no, but it's a relationship to Adonko Bitters, a DA, or semi papa, a year, and a year, and a year, shareholder. And at the end of the day, I'm going to read a year, Ghana Constitution, Treno. Say, and the Constitution clearly states this Chapter 24, Code of Conduct for Public Officers. And it says it clearly. A public officer, remember, that position she was occupying as the board chair of the National Youth Authority, no, it's under Article 70, covered by the Constitution. In Tiwa, Ofole, under Article 70, Biano, you are a government official and that you need to abide by this code of conduct, which is in our Constitution. You don't need to have a PhD to understand this. It's as simple as that. In Tiwa, Obusa, no, no, say, right now, no, this is what the Constitution says. When you go to Chapter 24, um, that is the uh, 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 284. It says conflict of interest. A public officer shall not put himself in a position where his personal interest conflicts or is likely to conflict with the performance of the functions of his office. Sa conflict of interest we are a what constitution a yet a semfua a woman. It kind of clearly say, Oh, yeah, abide the power you fall under Article 70. What you need to understand and say, Constitution is show. Say, in that capacity, you know, you are not supposed to, at the end of the day, then position yourself. And I say, Men for would do my dear no end to ponoso. Now, men ye be be a woman ya home for so a chain or office than a set of mine. And as such, I say, Say, a jume dear be a year war abide the power, wouldn't a year. A company and I say, Bibi and your Benjamin, men for who interest, men for the Abema who seek out the Abema advantage over another company, you know, men for who interest in two first constitution. I can clearly say, What for me, and with this kind of thing, no, you are not supposed to stretch it, you are not supposed to fight this. This is an outright thing. And can you say, Can this lady sit in front of a co- 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 vetting committee? No. This statement of her admitting on national television say she was the board chair. She sat on that meeting. She made sure that money was actually what? That money was given to her father's company, which is the shareholder. It's total conflict of interest. We are not supposed to even have any conversation about this. Because if we don't stop everything here and make sure say this is not condoned. Somebody is going to come, and as we've been seeing now, and they could for this government, the finance minister, when you bring conflict of interest issues, uh, then the NPP starts to bring different definitions. And now we catch the Ghana for the BIA say, from what we are doing today, so Obi be president in 10, 20, 15 years, next two years, sir. Nani Pano involves himself in high class conflict of interest. Uh, who will have the moral rights? To speak because for her to be the board of the chair, so what see I don't commit the scrubbing under the meeting. You don't sit, you don't sit, you walk away. You tell everybody on that meeting uh, on that board, say you don't want to be part of this conversation. Because the moment I'll bet you you crack a kennel. The moment I bet you say I don't commit me papa company, messiah shareholder. You see what makes it crazy. Am I you? And with all due respect to people who have issues with this, uh, Kevin Taylor, no. And just a bit tired, Corano, and I get on the main I want the constitution to be applied. The moment as a board chair, Oti Adon Kobete say your papa dia is one. Now Osa him say oh shares our company You you basically like you are telling us say Jimmy. Now the most difficult part of all this, and I say. 
In fact, this is Francisca. You saw her. I had this man on the the CEO, and I said the boss of Shraj. Now this man, your friend with Joseph Whittle. I don't go and now Francisca or Tim Mensa time and nipa no extra petition no. It was all the way. You understand. This man has been the boss of Shraj, right? This matter has been a Shraj since 2021. Now, you need to understand, Francisca Otain Mensa, she was appointed 2017 as the board chair of National Youth Authority. 20, 2017, Eniku appointed her to be the chair, the board chair. Mun follow we pa you be drew be a boom say Shraj Nanka say oh no the leadership this guy leading Shraj or a criminal as I speak to you the coup for the government they have given him a land a prime area of East Ligon this guy and he knows if he's watching me he knows Onim say I don't want to detail it but Onim the American he has been given a land prime prime area in Ghana East Ligon one of the best areas any other man, the government gave it to this guy, this Wittal. With me, when I say things, I keep telling you. So, who is saying, try fast? Now, 2017, NAI appointed Francisca Otin, a quick team by Francisca. Now, remember, in 2020, March 31st, Francisca Otin, Etna board meeting, and the board meeting, you know, she was. Part of the meeting, I approve a yet three million Ghana cities to a yet papa company. He appointed in 2017, 2020, 31st of March. This lady sat in a meeting as the board chair and I approve three million Ghana cities to a don't go bitters or say a shareholder now. This is 2022 March. On the 12th of June 2022, she sat on another meeting. On the 25th of June 2020, she sat on another meeting and Adonko Betes Company popped up all these in all these meetings. And if you go pick eh, the meeting records, you will see it. In all these meetings, I know Timno. Now you bought Adonko Betes Ding. Now you catch Romo say COVID nineteen. You the contract to be man a papa company. As a company, so you need three million Ghana cities. This lady called Francesca. She sat in all the meetings. She cannot tell me say. Eh, Adonko Betes. The name never popped up in all the meetings. Even when they were at the end of the day doing what, sanctioning. Eh, yeah, the, the 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 awarding of the contract she cannot tell anybody that there are many dangerous crown and say she is a shareholder i can say some it's my father's company that company i've had it but i didn't really know it's my father's company you can get away with it yes oh yes i've heard i don't go but to be very honest with you i've heard my dad is one of the owners of the company one is one of the owner he, he owns part of the company honestly I even thought my dad has left the board. So I don't really concentrate on those private things because it's his thing. Somebody sitting there might be rational with you and say, okay, there be any papa cross our company and papa is involved. She doesn't care. She didn't even look into it. Now you are a shareholder in that company and the board chair. So and no na Emma was a space required to come sit in front of the committee and say, yes, so make me a deputy minister. Now March 31st, she was part of the meeting. 12th, June 2020, she was part of the meeting. 25th, June 2020, she sat in all these meetings. But you know the funny thing? Francisca never disclosed in any of these meetings to say she is affiliated to Adonko and she is a shareholder. She never did that. A deliberate. She was pushing a contract to herself. 
And okay, one meeting lasted for two minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We can say, ah, you know, it was in a rush. We had to make this go. Three serious meetings our board members were sitting for hours. One to on the March 20, 31st of March 2020, 12th of June 2020, the 25th of June 2020. And then all these meetings, you know, you were the chair. You were the board chair. You never excused yourself. Your dad's company, which you are a member, an owner, a part owner, it was mentioned. Into where is the excuse? You can use everything, anything, COVID nineteen related. You can use all the words in the world, but the fact of the case is, you sat through all these meetings knowing I don't co You are a you are a part owner. You own it. Now the most interesting thing is. Process of Sinokra was breached. When you go to procurement, the National Procurement Authority. Is it is it the the procurement public procurement authority, the PPA, sorry, it's not national procurement. The public procurement authority, PPA. So okay, and you check in their books. And all that I'm telling you, Shraj, they have investigated, they are keeping it. Ask yourself why. With all of Shraj, the boss of Shraj, they are keeping this. They even have recommendations at the end of their findings. They are keeping these things to themselves. Adentra, some people don't want to bring these investigations out before this woman is vetted and at the end of it is sworn in as a deputy minister. Why? Even the pro procurement process was breached. It did not go through procurement. For the monies to be paid to Adunku, and yet on one company, and also on any papa company. And the funny thing about all this, and I say, as we sit here today, we cannot verify from our investigations that three million Adunku eko kao monsa and asa kao monsa as we sit here. The three million Ghana cities, Shraj knows. Whether the money went to Adonko or it did not go to Adonko, at this point, the money, you know, you won't be a Sikanafa. Who actually took the final check to go cash the money? We don't know. And this is all Mr. Aye Whittle, Joseph Whittle, the boss of Mr. Menoka, say, Oko Shraj, an officer, he has the final report. I broke the story. I've been following the story. I know everyone you investigated. I know everything you people did. But I was waiting for you, Mr. Wato, to show some kind of a uh, year in like professionalism. 2020 to 2022. Still, your final report from Shraj. And this lady, they've sneaked her this morning to vet her. And she admitted on national television that she is a, an owner, a part owner of Adonko. And we are still sitting here saying a committee should sit and decide. No. Now, we did a lot of following. We have checked Shraj, this man. They did their investigations. They got to a point where there were findings and there were recommendations. Now, per the constitution, this lady called Francisca Mensa, she is under Article 70 of the Constitution. And I read to you what the Constitution says. So, Shraj, they know the law more than me sitting here. Majority of lawyers and investigators, they, they know that if you fall under Article 70, ah, the Constitution makes it clear that you cannot be involved in decision taking when that decision you are taking, you, the person there, as a public servant, you know you are affiliated to the decision or the company you are dealing with. You are not supposed to be part. Francisca sat in over four meetings where I don't go because it was mentioned. That company was mentioned. Three million was being, at the end of the day, processed to be given to her own company. What are you telling me? Says Shraj cannot come out clearly. Shraj is telling us that they don't have the findings. They have it. This man has taken crazy money. He doesn't want to release and yet the findings of Shraj. 
The woman is guilty as anything. The girl is not supposed to be a minister. It's a fact. Papa was sky. We get it. Quite for have they have a problem with her. My issue here is why are we at the end of the day trying to subdue the constitution to benefit some individuals in Ghana? Why are some individuals in public offices trying to, at the end of the day, suppress the constitution? The holy book of the land, we, we, we rally around you know, to build this nation. You know. Why is this man at Shraj suppressing the constitution, knowing that he needs to release that report? Why is he not releasing it? Why is he trying to make sure, say, why is the TV off? <laughs> they, they, they turn the TV off. <laughs> The TV is off. Mudi ya kaa sam kitu yabano kudum TV no. The multi TV ya kaa sam kitu yabano kudum TV no. By Rebecca. So what is this, Mr. Whittle, of a year Shraj, the boss of Shraj? Why, why is he suppressing the truth? Because he could find a man of Asasi or Islegon prime place. He knows I know where it is. Odi misa mo paperwork and he knows. Now, there are findings, no. They, 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 their findings, <laughs> it's in bits. It's in pieces. They know the lady is guilty. I mean, say, Obawe, you know, a Kroobia swan also could jail cry. Yeah. She needs to be prosecuted for paying herself. As soon as I make a show, we, a broken CIA, that government official is going to jail. Now, They have recommendations at the end of their investigations. Shraj for many omokasi and the end of many omokasi. This man said the girlfriend who no show saying no show. Oh, nim said they are making nina is the truth. They drafted this a vetting right after the budget. I mean, we say MPs need be I busy looking at the budget and we sneak it this vetting into it. Why not this year be vetting girl we? Why not to say a year announcement? We are discussing with TV to say Francisca, a year Mensa, Koku Timba, you're be vetting them. Nobody knew. Most of the time, the TV to say she's being vetted because it is political. They wanted to sneak her. Because some of them say when the truth from Shraj, Shraj reported about Abantin that this girl, somebody can apply, somebody can sue her as a citizen to be jailed. Do you know that? Because she has gone against the constitution. After being fired, Krano, she can still be sued. So why are people doing this? Because anyway, people say, what is the meaning of vetting? What so you want to know the meaning? Yeah, to two are no oko pay you maybe ah open so be you maybe ah veto. Yeah, to two are no you busa busa on some ah you best you busa on what? Why you move the hole? competence level how knowledgeable you are so you go through a process we call vetting questioning you making you tell us what you are made up of what makes you qualified to be given that position as our process now film no any friend vetting so our process no any who the kind of person you are we can go back in your back to your background check the why baby why you mean you know what order your palm order the internet may come on the internet may suspend you and the internet you know what you want i don't know we want you a dear conduct so we look at all these things and after that no from what answers now but my no near your checks now then we can say you qualify to be a year day you qualify to be this person or in this position so perverting in another form. See, because a presidential candidate, MBA debater, is a form of vetting. Even though you have an official name on to say presidential debate is vetting. No? What happens at presidential debate is say, how far you have come to make sure that this position is given to you. Your qualities, your temperament, how you are able to, at the end of the day, explain issues as if you, if you are given the position, how quickly can you think, how knowledgeable you are in the position you are vying for. It is, those things are very important. And it's the in 2016 also on your vetting because that time no being who say he's dumb. So this lady, they put it before parliament and questions were asked. She basically came out and accepted, say, yes, me papa di kukutin, kukutin company name man three million, no, me, me a shareholder, finito, that this lady, that argument was supposed to end there this morning. So, why should we allow this lady to be 
a deputy minister. Jena, Ebema, these parliamentarians, a Yaju Waisimo, MPP side, Dinabaka say, yes, this lady should be a parliamentarian because even the finance minister, Omwan Kasani, they came out to say, oh, yeah, and they went to parliament to say, no, even though finance minister, you know, we still want him to lead as the finance minister. This is the kind of NPP, a Bayamuwa, a Bayne Jimmy, President Jimmy Kakra, ministers. And then the MPs of parliament, of Jimmy Chan president, you know, because in Kwasiadi, of course, Romo no Moses of president, you know, so. So, Shraj, this man, as I speak to you tonight, he has the findings, he has the recommendations, things we are supposed to know, you no, know, he's keeping it to himself because Kweku Timba, because we're deep on it, because a Yomu no more running Ghana politics, the AM penning on person de Maye. So, when you look in their recommendations, Almost all my own investigations in your navy. Recommendations when you know Kutomo, they have it at stretch. This man, he has it. Our American could, our pretty girl, we're American could, could demo, could dem da da da. Or the prison long time, we'll be trouble five years. And so we are here today discussing this straightforward issue. Why is Shraj not re releasing the report? Now, Shraj, for after all these investigations, I will conclude and say, this lady is guilty, you know. This man, because they want every means to clean this girl, because, because MPP, you also know. Shraj, for recommendation, he said, I will pass Auditor General, ABA investigations into the matter. So if the Auditor General should open investigations into the matter, why are we today forcing and pushing this girl through? Because we need to get to the bottom of the matter before this girl can actually take any serious public office again. Into a China, you're passing away as a minister. Now you come back to investigation, you can say, she needs to be jailed. What are you going to do? What shows is that China girl away or a deputy minister? Every contract under her ministry, you know, she will not make sure she will not force for her dad's company to take it. What guarantee do you have? In, the, in their recommendation, you know, almost say, oh, and can auditor general anchor or detain time and not or your board chair you no know, or this CEO no oh, no nonsense. Hear this now. In their recommendations, may I catch or strategy for recommendation that this man is sitting on today. Almost said the law must be applied. Shraj said, Emrano any day, any juma, Emrano so any day, Emrano ne what article? And yet the Constitution. This is Emrano. When you read the the Constitution, chapter twenty four, article two eight four, now a straight conflict of interest. So Shraj recommendations. You no, know, after we did our investigations, you no, know, this man, Mister Wito, has this because. All the investigations they did, they know that the girl has gone against the code of conduct. That's it. If she has gone against the code of conduct, the girl is guilty. She needs to be trialed. The investigations should start. He, she needs to be processed for court. But this is a situation Shraj Boston knows that this girl is guilty. This girl needs to face the law. He is keeping what will make us jail this girl or prosecute this girl. And we now have a potential jail bed, a potential uh, a government official who can be jailed, and then the Shraj board is protecting a potential jail bed. How on earth should this happen? Where on earth would this happen? Are they your Jimmy Jimmy? Why are we doing this to ourselves? And this man, Mr. Whittle, why are you doing this? Why? Why? What? Why? Why? 2020-2022 is getting to three years. One particular story. You've not been able to conclude it. He's concluded, he concluded this thing like six months ago. And he's kept it. And every single day, he keeps it. He, has, he rather is forcing a yet papa to make sure that parliament vets this lady quickly. In Tiaba vets, you know. You better clear no. Ni asad na kwa kusi a yet that ministry. Na later no shraj did the report about yen ya deng. Because this is the time Shraj is supposed to release the report. Why is Shraj not releasing the report? Exactly 548. Ghana for me. The man my you know. I'm telling you people. 
I have done everything when it comes to saving you people. I have done everything. My And nobody in this government around the world has been able to come out with a document to counter any document I put on my show. Nobody. I have done my best for Ghana. I have served Ghana like the military officer and the say save Ghana. I have done it. All the patriotism you want to see, I have put it out here. Consistently, I have done it. And I am human like you guys. I have done everything. I broke this story from day one. And today I am telling you this is what is happening. My I have done, I've said everything. I've educated you guys on everything. I have shown you things you've not seen before. I'm just a young man. I also need life. I also need to make friends, speak about it. Mr. Ranopa, I'm thinking about how to educate you people with the truth. I'm like, I also can, I need to enjoy life like the way you people are enjoying life. I didn't power be on a to me at this point. For you people to understand, like where we are today, if we all don't come together and kick these people out of power, you will be slaves in your own country. I have done my part. I have, I have, I have done everything. I don't know what I haven't, I haven't done. I don't know what I haven't said on this platform. I'll be right back. Uh, Thank you, right honorable speaker. Mr. Speaker, I thank you for your kindness. And to vet the nominee, I want to take it from the hills of Honorable Sohene. Are you suggesting to this committee that you are before Shiraj on a matter which has been investigated on conflict of interest bordering on you? Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, um, Shiraj wrote to me and I have responded accordingly. They wrote to you on what? You want to share the content of the letter? If um, you have it. Yes, I can. I can share a copy of the letter that Shraj um, wrote to me. But at least you read the letter. What did the letter allege or purport on the matter they are investigating? Is this just Adongo, Adonko and what Honorable Sohini have said? Um, Mr. Ch Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, um, the, um, what the letter entails, it's hard to do with um, conflict of interest issue where um, a citizen wrote to charge with regards to um, National Youth Authority, Authority purchasing some number of um, hand sanitizers from um, Adunko Company Limited. And the other um, allegation had to do with the fact that um, they purchased sanitizers worth 3 million Ghana cities, and which is not so. So I've, I've responded accordingly to charge on that. I will be happy to see the official correspondent from Shraj on this matter to guide our decision on the nominee. Now you are reminded that Article 284 of the 1992 Constitution provides a public officer shall not put himself in a position where his personal interest conflicts or is likely to conflict with the performance of the functions of his office. What portfolio were you occupying? I know the Honorable Suhini race, but I want to hear from you. What were you at National Youth Authority? Um, as a board chairperson. Chair of the board, responsible for policy. Is that right? Yes, please, Mr. Chairman. Did the board approve that sanitizers will be bought? No. No, Mr. Chairman. All it, right. The board, the board approved an amount of 3 million Ghana cities for COVID-19 campaign and related activities. And Which so, included procurement of sanitizers, is that right? Well, that was- Were you in that board meeting? Um, come again, Chair. Mr. Chairman. Were you in the board meeting? Yes, please. You chaired the board meeting? Yes, please. Which approved the three million? Yes, please. For the purchases of those items? For the um, COVID-19 campaign and related activities. Okay, so what are they? What have you got to do with the Adonko? Uh, to pronounce it well for me, the Adonko group. What's your relationship with them? 
Um, I think um, it has to do with the fact that um, my father owns Adunku Company Limited, and I'm also a shareholder of the company.